When Ridley Scott's Alien came out in 1979, no one really thought it would turn into one of the most iconic American movies ever made and spawn a franchise that spans decades. To cut a long story short, that's exactly what happened. Recently, fans were treated to a teaser trailer of the series' latest installment, Alien Romulus, which finally satiated our cravings for more xenomorph action. In many ways, the trailer feels reminiscent of the claustrophobic look and feel that made the original film so iconic. But what intrigues us the most about this long-awaited addition to the Alien storyline is its placement in the timeline as well as the narrative gaps this film could fill in this universe's lore. In this marvelous video, we'll explore the unique position Alien Romulus occupies in the franchise as well as the implications this will bear on the tale going forward. But before moving on, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. With that out of the way, let's go. Timeline – What Goes Where To say that the Alien franchise has evolved over time would be an understatement. Under the supervision of numerous talented artists, writers, and designers, the Alien has come a long way from its roots as a survival thriller about people stranded on a spaceship. The movies have genuinely reached a point where characters in the later installments are more interested in contemplating the deafening silence of God than fighting a murderous alien. This decision might be somewhat controversial, but it's undeniable that they've always propelled the movies in new directions. However, the glimpses we have of Alien Romulus indicate that the series will be taking a trip back to the original movies both in tone and setting. Though Romulus is the seventh film in the order of release, it's gonna hold a pretty unique place in the timeline of the series. Though the last two films to release, Alien Covenant and Prometheus, were essentially prequels that preceded the original by many years, Romulus director Fede Alvarez has already disclosed that his film is not going to follow the set pattern. Instead, Alien Romulus is going to find its place shuffled between Alien and Aliens, the first two films of the franchise, according to the release date. Due to this, the nostalgic look of the teaser trailer makes complete sense and it opens up various new avenues for creators. The events that take place in Alien Romulus could end up completely upending the way in which we perceive the older films. But pulling off a midquel is something that's exceedingly rare in Hollywood, and it becomes even more challenging when we factor in the rich lore that the Alien films have already accumulated. Therefore, it becomes exceedingly crucial to first take a look at the two iconic films in which Alien Romulus takes place. Alien, 1979, set in 2179. This is the genesis of Alien's storied saga, a tense, edge-of-your-seat affair. This potent blend of horror and sci-fi holds a special place, not only in the franchise, but in cinematic history. Taking place roughly 18 years after the 2017 prequel, Alien Covenant, this movie is mostly cut off from the world of the modern sequels. It's in this flick that we have our first encounter with the dreaded Xenomorphs, who would end up being the primary antagonists for most of the films. These nightmarish creatures created by H.R. Giger have since become some of the most well-known monsters ever committed to film. Alien is also our first introduction to Warrant Officer Ripley, played by Sigourney Weaver, as she answers a mysterious distress signal to a derelict alien spaceship. Obviously, the crew encounters the Xenomorphs and die extremely gruesome deaths. Though it's not blatant and on the nose, we can already see tensions brewing between Ripley and the androids, namely Ian Holmes' Ash. There are also mentions of the all-powerful Wayland yutani Corporation, but these intricacies are still in the background. Considered to be one of the most influential sci-fi films of all time, Alien was nominated for multiple awards at the 80th Oscars and even bagged the best visual and sound effect statuettes. Even today, after more than four decades of its existence, the film thrills and scares, just like it used to the very first time you saw it. Due to the film's massive critical and commercial success, it was only a matter of time before 20th Century Fox gave a sequel. In the last moments of the film, we see Ripley putting herself into stasis and launching off to Earth. If Alien Romulus is really going to be set between the first two films, this is the point where its story will pick off. Right. Alien Romulus 2024 21, 42. According to director Fede Alvarez, Romulus is going to take place some 20 years after the original. The director has revealed that the film is set to be a standalone interquel, which will not disrupt any of the canonical events in the series. However, it's unlikely that a story taking place at such a pivotal point in the alien storyline will bear absolutely no impact on the story. 
But if you're expecting an appearance from a de-aged Ripley, oh, you might be disappointed. After all, she was tucked away in stasis, safely making her way towards Earth at this time in the story. Alvarez's approach toward this anticipated sequel seems to be a step in the right direction, as after years of CGI monsters, we're finally going back to the practical effects that made the original film so great. The director has stated in interviews that the film would be bringing back the Stan Winston team, who were responsible for visual effects in the franchise's early outings. From what little we know so far, the plot of the film will follow a group of young space colonizers who make the unfortunate mistake of scavenging on a derelict space station. Alvarez has also claimed that, at its core, Romulus is going to be a story about siblinghood. After all, the film derives its name from one of the most famous pairs of siblings in history, Romulus and Remus, who were said to be the founders of the ancient Roman civilization. In recent years, the films have been veering away from their monster movie roots and moving towards something with more depth and more poignancy. However, the mixed audience response to the films proves that fans really wanted to head back to the terrifying, gruesome place this franchise had first emerged from. Being placed between the alien and aliens, the film is in a unique position where it can describe humanity's reaction to the xenomorphs after their initial discovery of the ferocious life form. Technology must have also grown during the period between the first two films, and will undoubtedly see glimpses of this evolution. It also seems that the film will redirect its attention toward the blue-collar workers by driving the characters into harrowing circumstances that they're woefully underprepared for. In the teaser, we've only witnessed attacks by the infamous facehuggers, but long-time fans will know that it's extremely likely that a full-grown xenomorph is lurking in the shadows. When discussing films that are as perfect as the first and second installments of Alien, it feels nitpicky to point out plot holes that don't really matter in the larger picture. However, there's a strange discrepancy between the first two films. As in the first film, the term xenomorph is used to refer to all forms of extraterrestrial life, but by the time aliens come around, the term specifically refers to the breed of monsters that attack Ripley and her crew. This might all be a good opportunity to clear up this confusion, but as we stated already, this doesn't really affect the film's potency at all, and might even end up getting ignored. The film, which is slated for release in August of this year, stars Kaylee Spaney, David Johnson, Archie Renault, Isabella Merced, and Spike Fern in prominent roles. Aliens, 1986, set in 2179. Let's go on a brief tangent and look at how the sequel came about. Given the fact the first Alien film made around $105 million off of an $11 million budget, people assumed the film was massively profitable. However, due to the massive distribution and marketing costs associated with the film, the profits for 20th Century Fox were comparatively meager. Thus, when upcoming director James Cameron approached the studio with his idea for his sequel to Alien, it was expected that the studio would turn it down. The meeting that took place between Cameron and the executives has since become a part of Hollywood history. Cameron walked into the meeting without a single piece of paper, went up to a whiteboard placed in the room, and wrote the word alien on it. After a dramatic pause, he added a dollar sign after the word alien, and aliens was born. Cameron was assigned a budget of around $18 million and ended up delivering one of the greatest sequels of all time, which is right up there with Godfather 2 and Star Wars Episode 5. Cameron's contributions to the franchise can never be understated, as Aliens was instrumental in building the lore around the dreaded Xenomorphs. The film starts with Ellen Ripley waking up from stasis some 57 years after the event of the first film. She's rescued, but finds her employers at the Wayland yutani Corporation are extremely skeptical of her claims that there were alien eggs aboard the derelict ship on the Exomoon colony on LV-426. When the colony goes dark, Ripley, along with a squad of marines, is tasked with exterminating the creatures. The film still retains its horror genre roots but shifts to something that's a bit more action-oriented. Instead of being powerless in front of the aliens, Ripley assumes a much more heroic role this time around and leads the charge against the horrendous creatures. Aliens also provided us with much more insight regarding the xenomorphs and their civilization by revealing that they're hive-based organisms whose entire lives revolve around the queen xenomorph. The queen is by far the most terrifying specimen of the xenomorphs we've seen so far, being twice as large as an average drone. As this film technically follows the events of Alien Romulus, it'd be interesting to see if the new film provides us with a new way of looking at this classic. It's on B-Deck, starboard side, descending into sea level. Marvelous verdict, 
With the timeline of the Alien films all cleared up, it's easy to see why Alien Romulus has fans so hyped. I mean, it's been a while since we got a good old slaughter at the hands of the Xenomorphs, and if the trailer has any indication, well, we're in for a treat. The teaser has also evoked a largely positive response from long-time fans who were yearning for the old Alien films, but for the moment, all we can do is wait. That being said, we couldn't be more excited for another trip to deep space, and in a strange way, we can all grudgingly accept that we have missed the murderous xenomorphs. That's it for this video, but don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more updates on the world of aliens. Goodbye for now, and please don't wander off into any derelict spaceships. Mm -hmm. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one, and be safe. Thanks everyone.